Hello, welcome to episode 2 of our career with our Mayfly class series. So, we actually had a bit of a problem with the last um, recording, so you know some things are different, because what I had to do was I had realised I left random potentials on, and all our writers had random potentials, which was not ideal. So that means the type of trainers have changed, the calendar's changed ever so slightly, I've just been spent some time making a rough plan with a few of the races in there, all ready to go there. Um, first race in the Classic is up now, sponsor objectives have changed ever so slightly, so now we're going for top and Vuelta and Giro in top 5 of the tour, so it means I've had to change my plan around. Um, we'll go through some of those things quickly. Other things that have happened, we had a training camp. Um, Remember how we reduced the number of World Tour teams down to 12? Or 14 of them? 12, yeah. So that means a whole lot more teams request wildcards. So if we have a look, it's lots of wildcards. Does it say teams for something? I went out, Rowan Dennis won the time trial champs ahead of Port and Matthews. Cause Light run by Brendan Vesti. There you go, teams right under. So who's going to be there? It's going to be all the World Tour teams. They all got the invitations. Okay. Oh, plus us. That means one world team, four team did it, I suppose, is it? Maybe? 20? No, that works perfectly. Nice. All the world tour teams. All, all the real life world tour teams. Uh, what else happening? Road race won by Lachlan Morton ahead of Jack Hagen and Dennis. There we go. Teams for Crunchy Empty Dauphiné. So it says a bit differently. Nine invitations. We've got BNB, Cofidis, Nippo, NTT, Gazprom, Androni, and Uno X. So no CCC, no Sunweb. See, that's why it makes it more interesting. Perry Nice, uh, Alperson, CCC, Movistar, Lotto, NTT, Cofidis, Nippo, Total, BNB, and AG2R. Perry Bay. Great number of more teams. Tour of France teams. This is the important bit. AG2R, BNB, Arkea, Samsic, Lotto, Sudel, Total Direct, Cofidis, Nippo, NTT, CCC, and Israel. So. No Sunweb. Hmm, okay. Liège, Beston, Liège. Don't really particularly care. All the other stuff there. Uh, I think we've checked everything off on there. We'll just check who else requested to go to the tour. Sunweb, yep, direct. Yeah, a lot of... A lot of teams there. Um, so all those leaders are good. We can delete these now, because these just kind of annoy me how they're sitting there. Um, what else is happening in our team? Oh, I feel the contracts changed for some reason as well. Youth development. I might make a youth team at some point. What's this? Sprint out, yeah. Excellent. Oh yes, objectives will change this round a bit. Uh, we have got Valverde going for the Cyclist to Catalonia, then the Tour, then the Vuelta. Nibali going for Torino, then the Giro, then he's going for the World Champs. Fabiani is going to be sprinter at Torino, the Giro, and then the Classics in Hamburg. Bernal will lead the Paris-Nice, the Dauphiné, and then the Vuelta. It's only one grand tour for him. If Nepal, meanwhile, will get him to, well, it says lead Torino, but he's just going to help nibble out, I reckon. He's going to lead Tour de Suisse, though. He's got those two time trials in there. And he's going to be a free element at the Vuelta to help out in the team time trial. He's also going to ride the Giro as a, as a teammate for Nibali, so... Excellent there. Uh, any other results we need to be aware of? Nope. Let's get into our first race with the team. Here we are with the New Zealand Cycle Classic now in its 2.hc form. These are the riders we have been given. I think we'll just stick with it. Let's have a look what the f what other teams are here first. Teams 1, it's Ineos, EF. It's a lot of World Tour Teams plus this St. George. Black Spoke. This is a pretty good lineup of teams actually, so it's got all the ones who would most likely actually be here. Plus some World Tour Teams too. So that's going to be quite interesting. Who have they brought Moscow on? Patrick Bevan, New Zealander. Why is George Bennett not here with Yamba Visma? First stage is sprint stage, and we've got our sprinter done, is it? So let's get into it. So this episode we'll probably do. We'll try and do the whole New Zealand Cycle Classic, if possible. If not, we'll just get maybe 
three, four stages done. Hmm. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, I have not got a game plan for this really, I just looked who was in form and I didn't really want the same people to ride the Tour Down Under as New Zealand. Um, people who ride the New Zealand's not classic, I think similar people are going to be riding the Gravel and Tar, which is a bit like Strata Bianchi, but in New Zealand, and less cobbles, more gravel. Mm. Uh, my graphic settings are quite low because my computer cannot run much. Um, but yeah, so it looks like we're probably going to ride for Oscar Sibila, although this stage would be Alberto Dainese. Yeah, so straight into it. Decent amount of people here. In other news, Mitchell and Scott just released their Tour de France team. And it's got Bauer and Buell in it, so two Kiwis. Excellent job for them. Oh, that's right, I'm made by squad. We, do we have championship jerseys? I think we do, but no one here in our squad will have them yet. Now, we'll get the buttons changed between these ones here. We'll put back up to the front. Uh, Dainese, you can be our sprinter. So we're going to put, who's going to protect Dainese today? Maybe Consi. Uh, you can be a lead out for him. Fernandez, if you're near the front, you could have gone on the breakaway. You might ride uh, Soler. So remembering Black Smoke Pro Cycling, I added some more riders to their squad. Also the Cause Light Cycling Team, where is that? Where's the Cause Light Team? They're a completely new and made up squad that they are there. I mean, their jersey is the Cause Light team from 1994. Uh, another fun fact about Cause Light, uh, their, rep, their jersey is what our original club uniform was based off. So, yeah, fun for all. Looks like Haas is on the front. Let's see what the favourites are, they reckon. Filippo Garner, they reckon we're going to take. We've got Patrick Bevan as well. There's no time trial, so I don't know why these guys are leading. Um, but yes, let's go from Cambridge to Cambridge, so this is based in Hamilton, so this is the old route for the New Zealand Cycle Classic, I'm pretty sure. This is a Cambridge down south by Martin where normally is, there's Medi Hartley Brown. Fun fact, I actually beat Medi Hartley Brown in a, well, sorry, no, I didn't beat him, my father beat him in a race, I got 4th or 5th I think behind him. In the uh, in a club race we had, who did Mitchell bring? Look, Bauer, Bewley, and Smith, the whole New Zealand squad. I am actually pretty happy about that. I wonder if that's a game mechanic to bring them all here for the start of the season. Otherwise, a lot of other Kiwis. I think these guys, there's some Kiwis on this team here, maybe. Yes, Clark. Vink is here, Zinovich, Kennett. I think my uncle raced against Dylan Kennett once and beat him. <coughs> Sprint coming up, and are we going to go for it? No, because there's already three people more falling on the breakaway. Joel Yates, Manny Hartley Brown, and just don't know who the other guys are, but okay. They got a three minute advantage, and it's still growing with. Oh, there we go, reducing again, excellent. So I say we have to ride for the stage as well. Maddie Hartley Brown of Cause Light is in the lead of the points classification. Well done to him. Mm. Oh, water. So we'll get St. Garcia back to get some water. Maybe Fernandez sort of. Oh well. Uh, but we're working for Alberto Dinese today, the young Italian sprinter. Ready and willing to go. Pretty tame these roads here in New Zealand. Uh, where I live currently, there's we live in like this little we live on the east coast. So where we are, there's kind of hills to the north, to the west, and to the south of us. So it's Flat, oh, it's flat-ish where I live, slightly uphill, but in general, the whole country is kind of hilly. Because we're in the middle of the tectonic plates, 
for a, the Pacific plate and the Australasian plate to go straight through our country, so we're on the just on the edge of the ring of fire. Twenty k to go, we can get our little sprint train ready. So you can go behind Albini. Anyone else here got any sprint power? Maybe Sevilla. Uh, Ghana can go next. He's got nice flat. Uh, Seventy. You go there, then you go there, then you go there. Okay, so let's just give it a right or go. Oh, look at those bikes. Look at the color of them. They're cute, but they suit our, our color scheme so nicely. Or do I have to look up some bottles for us to use as well? But look at that Maypie uniform. Look at it. So beautiful. So Okay, slightly, just to get us back up to the front again. It's a slight uphill, so we'll go at 11 k's to go. What else for the trains here? Oh, they got Ben Swift here for uh, Enios Music for Team Mitchell and Scott. So obviously in real life, this is a 2.2 race. So what usually happens is there's two or three Conti teams, and every other team is a national level team, like a state team, whatever they call them. Yeah. Energy gel for Conchi, energy gel for Fernandez. Let's drive the power up. Up the outside of Luke Rowe. Keeping the train up nicely. Conchi is done for. He can roll off to the left now. Go on the back of Dionese. Energy gel on Garcia. Just go over this hill, so we're losing a slight bit more of. Energy we want to, so we'll reduce the next guy to 90. Fernandez, get on the back of. Let's go back on the con back of Conci, because Castorejo is here with us. As we go, now we go 99, because it's going to be downhill, I did forget about that, so we will just keep going 99 now. Keep drawing it out. The boost is here, Patrick Bevan looks like he'll be sprinting. You look at Ghana, you can go now. Garcia, you can stick your ass in the back. Fernandez can go there, we'll rearrange the tail in slightly. Energy gel for Sivula and Aldenini. Yes, Filippo Gana, 62 k's an hour, excellent. 3 k's to go, energy gel on Dionese and 2.4. We can start our sprint with Sivula. 1.5. Go. 1.1, go. Everyone can sprint now. Where's Dionese? Oh! Dani takes a stage ahead of Aldini and Alex Kirsch for Team Trek, so excellent win, excellent timing. I mean, everyone's about the same sprinting ability, so luckily we didn't bring Viviani, we would have totally beaten everyone, would have been unfair. Results going to get the podium because it's just saving time. We've done the double, our first win of the season, Alberto Dainese, stage one New Zealand Cycle Classic ahead. Alex Kirsch, Patrick Bevan, Jesper Du Bois, maybe he's a bit better than us. No, he's 74, 74, so maybe a little bit better. But yes, excellent, that means we're in the youth classification, points classification. Oh, we're doing pretty good, excellent. Let's go on to stage two then. Our New Zealand Cycle Classic. <coughs> Same thing again, probably go with uh, Dinesia once again. Who are they reckon? Magnus Court Nielsen, Ben Swift, and I've got Mezek. They must have a pretty poor sprint. Let's get into it. I think today, if we can get someone to break away, I think we will. And we'll try and get those mountain classification points. See yeah, Marston to Marston. Okay, this is down in the. This is south of where I live. Down south on the east coast. Hmm.
Hmm. There we go, straight into it. Oh, so I don't need to get the signage for the things. I got the, sp the frames done. <gasps> look at that beautiful New Zealand style classic jersey. Yes, that leader's jersey, not for the... I mean, the Bridgeline one's missing, it's transfer art, but that's not our team, so we don't particularly care, but look at it. Oh, that's so beautiful. Okay, I like that. I like that. I chose a good team. Dinesi, another plus two. Got Fernandez in the breakaway, maybe? Yes, as I go down. Boom. Okay, 80. Play. I if we can get Fernandez in the breakaway. If not, we'll try and put Sibylla. Um, so we'll grab Conchi again, and you can come protect Dunez there. Stay up here, man. I don't want you to go too far back, or else we're going to struggle to get into the breakaway. You have to go to the breakaway attack now by yourself, because they're already gone. Okay, start rotating yourself now. Oh, they're chasing us down, are they? They're chasing this guy down. That guy down for some reason, maybe. No, us? No, for God's sake. It's us. Okay, so we sit up. No, they're still chasing. Someone else is in the breakaway they don't like. Okay. Where is Sevilla? Let's go. Come on. Can we get in the breakaway, man? Is it Cooper? They're sprinting to catch Jose, so Cooper are they? Let's go, Sevilla, let's go. James Orham. Dunbar and Vlasov. Ah, oh, it's going to be a strong team, is it? Zinovic, it is. Come on, please, please, please let us go. Yes. No. I don't care about the points, man. Please, let's go. Who's chasing? Oh, people are trying to get the breakaway, are they? No, nope, these guys are actually chasing, but why? That just doesn't... Maybe, I mean, we're getting a slight advantage away. We do some sort of work, but not heaps of work. Okay, Malcolm's coming up. Who are we up against? James Oram, Joseph Cooper, Vine, and some guy just dropped off the back. So it looks like just James Oram is going to be our rival, if any. So we'll just set the pace at the front, I suppose. How many points up for grabs in this stage? Six at each point. Okay. We're still going to, yep, we're going to sprint for this because this guy's it's James Oram's going to attack us. I'll hop onto the back of James Oram because we're going to lose too much energy otherwise. We have to attack now. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, you, damn it. We should have just gone over the top of him. We should have just stayed over the top of him. Oh well. Uh, we'll grab all. We'll get Garcia to get some bottles for us. <sighs> Rotating nicely. To 60, I suppose. 70. Get some water. Maybe three. Has anyone here lost? What? Did anyone over, over GC actually lose any time on the stage? Yes. Mandy Hartley Brown and all the guys for the breakaway. Okay, I see. Oh, Silver Love, we don't want to go on the front too hard again because that's not appropriate. Uh, we don't want to get dropped in the sprint zone, so we'll just keep an eye on that. Um. Okay, we will get this bit done nice and quickly. So everyone's sprinting, as I sprint with them. Second or third place, get some bonus seconds. 
Let's have a look at that. What do we get? Second, that's two seconds bonus on the GC. We'll set the back for a bit. Some water. Okay, no, it looks like we're going to rotate around again so we can hopefully get these mountain points before the bunch catches us. Let's send Garcia to get some more water. So this time we want to attack James Orem. Hey, Nico Dens, he's new. When did he come to the breakaway? Let's attack now, see what happens. Nothing. Okay, we'll just sit in now. Kind of waste that energy, so that's that's good. We'll just energy gel on Sibylla. Oh, yes, Orm's dead. Okay, let's go. Attack. Sit up. As long as Orm doesn't get sit. Ah, oh, Orm's got second. Okay, well now we just sit up and wait, and we reserve our energy until the peloton catches up, I suppose. And here they are, excellent. So hopefully we can maintain our position here. Oh, we're slowly dying. Okay, we're gonna put you on automatic then. You can deal with yourself in the main peloton. Wait, there's four case to go. How did I Oh great, oh great, oh great, oh great indeed. Oh is here, we're just gonna have to do a quick old Okay, let's go. Conci. Where's Aldini there? And Dine is there. Excellent. Straight to 99. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We'll put energy gel on everyone. Come on, 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 come on. Back to the, up to the front, up to the front. Sprint, 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 sprint. Oh, Aldini's kind of trapped in behind. Aldini's gonna have to go. Dionysus is kind of stuck. Come on, Dionysus. Break through, break through, break through, break through. Around the corner, around the corner, win, 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 win. Oh, MP versus Dainese, Dainese. MP takes a jump. Okay. Oh, bugger, 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 bugger. <sighs> Too focused on making Sevilla keep up, in which he might have, might not have. We will check at the end of the stage. Yeah. Yes, MP the quickest. Cool. We get seconds, that's still a good time. Any time splits. None of us. Cool. So that means Aldini's third and Sevilla is like ninth. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So thanks for joining us for episode two. Um, next episode we'll finish the New Zealand Song Classic. Then we'll start the Toronto Under and we'll go through it. Um, cheers. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Comment down below. Ka-chow.